Can we just put that mic in front of the instrument? Yeah, this one. Yes. yes. There we go. We have sound. Are you right? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please put your hands together for Tim Moon. <laughs> stronger she becomes Behold them happy daughters Behold their happy sons They're bringing all their stories They're singing all their songs And they're all dancing in the field And I look at you old Albion I know it's mine in my heart I've got oak in my spine In my heart I've got oak in my spine Where Spencer the Rover There's Lord Bateman and his ilk There's a poor man in his shack There's a rich man in his silk Oh, there's a Morris town from Fieldtown A rapper team from State All dancing for you I look at you, old Al So take my hand, comrades, let's walk together side by side. So much to talk about, we've got nothing we can hide. And when these times come better, every one of us will rise. We all be dancing in the field. Look at your old Albion. Sonny Crop ready? Without the crowds. Well, you know, <laughs> relatively speaking, as you might say. That was called Oak in My Spine, which was uh, the title uh, song of a show that I wrote ages ago, which has now developed into a set of albums looking at English music. I think we're on about volume eight now or something like that. It's called the King of England. And uh, I originally wrote it about faceless civil servants, but uh, little did I know the shits that had run this country later on. Bleeding 
children present because I'm going to say something very shameful. Um, I do play music for a Morris team. I'm, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's an affliction. <laughs>
Shepherd's Hay and uh, Willow Tree. They are. I have to say, I play fiddle with our Maurice team, so why am I here with the melodeon? Who knows? Someone's got to play a melodeon. Right, let me talk to you. Here it is. <laughs> As Linda said, I, uh, after, uh, after the first Swar Memorial, um, I bought a fiddle and I got it signed by everybody could find. All the Fairports signed it and uh, who else signed it? Liza Carthy, a dad, Martin Carthy, loads and loads and loads of people. And uh, I flogged it off. Um, where's he? Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, come here, come here. For you. Well, you know, via you. Come and get it. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Don't let it blow away, though. <laughs> and if you just open me up, there's 150 quid in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can all cry. It's good for us. Yeah. Anyway, this is a song that I wrote after the last concert. Oh, Mr. Swarbrick, are you down there looking up at us? Oh, Mr. Swarbrick, did you tell them where to stick your heart when you out fiddled old Nick? Did he send you away? Oh, Mr. Swarbrick, Stay another day Oh, Mr. Swarbrick Do you know the legacy you left With a million blocks of rosin To pay tribute to you When I was lost in Brighton you both showed me the way Oh, Mr. Swarbrick, stay another day And there you are on Pebble Mill You're playing silk and smithy chills All those swoops and all those thrills No one can take your place I must have seen you about a million times When we all sang Rosie I felt a tear come into me eye On a stage in Banbury Just down the road from Crockery Oh, Mr. Sporbrick, your spirit still lives on through that. I sung it live before. I wrote it, recorded it and uh, 
and I never actually got around to uh, perform it. So, phew! Um, it's called old leather. I, I've noticed through my life if uh, if wives leave at a later part of a gentleman's life, he goes mad and starts wearing leather trousers and buying motorbikes and stuff. <laughs> so, so it's called old leather. Detached in Hadley Wood This pension plan would all come good Till she ran off with Robin Hood To live in Tootin Bank He bought himself a motorbike He sold the fox on now that small bike He set off up the old turnpike Heading for the hill I've lost my watch strap, so I don't, I've, I've no idea. What? Oh, uh, 38. Who's got 38? This is like a food raffle. Who's got number 38? Is someone up here? Yeah, somebody must want 38 to eat. Anybody fancy 69? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I get rude. I get rude when I'm there. I'm sorry. I've got another four. Um, it's called 1967. Which obviously I'm far too young to remember 1967. But the year of Sergeant Pepper and all sorts of stuff. Cleanse your head. Don't ever talk too loud. Always stand out to the crowd. It's the ways of karma and the book of the dead. 1967, where did you go? 1967, did you not know? The winter soon came on And no one could see our song Oh, 1967, I still love you Hair grew longer All the colours were stronger were pulled to the Ganges from England's green and pink and red and blue and you were me and I was you it's all 
so far away Now it's all yesterday And the mini is rotting away in the shed Five thousand spirits gone But the music still plays on Although two of the marching band lay dead Sixty-seven. Where did he go? Nineteen sixty-seven. Did you not know? The music still plays on, although the time has gone. Oh, nineteen sixty-seven. I still love you. I still love you Whoa. I'm bearing up well I, 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 uh, I set off driving to get here at five o'clock this morning so Lovely drive. Um, I was going to say many of these songs, but all of these songs are available on uh, compact discs, which I have over there in a silver case. So if you want to buy one, they're only a fiver and they're all at least an hour long, so you know. <laughs> Sod Rishi Sunak, I'm the one that's giving you the money back here, I'm telling you. I, I, I do often write, well actually whenever I write an album there's probably about three or four songs that I actually go on to perform, I just write them and I think I will do. And this is a song that, I, I mean it's ancient is this, but, well ancient by some people's standards, yesterday by mine. But um, I thought I wrote it and people said, oh that's really good. And I've, I, could I bugger learn the thing? I just could not get it. Anyway, it's called Old Time Dancing, which I seem to have cracked after 21 years, so here we go. <laughs> oh, we plough up the fields and we scatter the grain And we pray for the harvest to come round again And our elders and betters go slowly our old time dancing Old time dancing Ladies go flying Sure and spin round Old time dancing And when the gentlemen dance They may never sit down Ah, we pray for the harvest We pray for the rain we play for the hand at the fold of the grain Though we don't know the tune And we can't pay the band Our old time dancing Old time dancing Let's go flying Sure and spin round Old time dancing but when the gentlemen dance, they may never sit down. Oh, we have a journey to make, and we've nothing to say. We walk in the night, cause there's never no day. And we whistle blind tunes to keep us awake. Our old time dancing. Old time dancing, the ladies go flying, children spin round. Old time dancing, when the gentlemen dance, they may never sit down. One of, 
one of my joys as a musician is actually traveling around the place. Most musicians go, oh, shit, you know, all this five hours of driving and then I've got to sing. I love it. My partner, Andrea, she, she's just waiting for teleport to be invented. She just, you know, God, horrifies her traveling more than two minutes to shops, you know. Uh, but anyway, it's, a, it's called English Rockabilly, and it's sort of, yeah, it kind of relates to that, because you sort of listen to all sorts of stuff on the radio in the middle of the night, because there's not a vast choice of stuff. And I was to a, a documentary about Tommy Steele, which was quite good, on Radio 2. Going back a bit. And then there's my brother, who is ten years younger than me, and actually thinks he lives in the 50s. He dresses in that style all the time. And he's a rock and roll DJ. Oh, yeah. There's more money than I do playing the bloody music, but there you go, you can't have anything. Um, anyway, it's called English Rockabilly. I was sitting in the two eyes, coffee bar, when a man pulled up in a Jaguar. He said, learn some rockabilly, get a big guitar. Oh, I'll crease up your hair, I'm gonna make you a star. English Rockabilly. English Rockabilly. English Rockabilly from the tree to the tent. I got a great big white slash guitar, I got a bass and a drummer. We were going far in a Ford Thames van on the North Circular. I'm better see you round to Poplar, oh, English Rockabilly. English Rockabilly. English Rockabilly from the tree to the tent. I got a great big white Yankee car. I was seen out with a starlet in a mink fur bra. Tearing up seats and dancing in the cinema from Newcastle and Manchester. English Rockabilly English Rockabilly English Rockabilly from the tree to the tent But being a teenage star is bound to train you Time to become an all-round entertainer Get a dinner suit, attend a swanky dinner A dicky bow on the TV and a Rolls Royce with a sofa English Rockabilly English Rockabilly English Rockabilly From the tree to the tent Well, sitting in the two eyes Coffee bar When four lads turned up In a big black car They come all the way from Liverpool They said, here's my crown Good luck to you English Rockabilly English Rockabilly Last one. Yeah, don't all cry. It's all right. um, some of you may know I've done four walks um, every, every other year 2012, 2014, 2016, 2018. Um, playing uh, that bazooka and singing and walking for bloody miles, singing and playing all the time to raise money for you know, various things. And um, air ambulances and breast cancer and dementia and all stuff like that and uh, this kind of relates to them first one by the way was from Blackpool to the east coast so right across the coast coast uh, but the second one which is more or less relates to probably most um, I walked from Filey which is a little town that I live in just below Scarborough and um, went down to Penzance that was a that was an adventure 
And then the next one I walked from Fairley down to Brighton, but I followed the East Coast down. Actually, it was on that one, as I went into Brighton, as you might remember from the last song, was when I heard that Swab had gone. So it was kind of a memory of that one, is that? Uh, and then the last one in 2018, which was always intended to be the very last one, because I'm, I'm not as young as I used to be, you know. Um, I decided I'd, make, I'd go out with a bang. So I walked up from Fairley to Edinburgh, crossed to Stranraer, I got the ferry, crossed to Belfast, down to Dublin, then even further down to get the boat across from uh, Ross Lair, I think. Uh, Ross Lair to uh, uh, Milford Haven, or was it Pembroke Dock? But anyway, across to Wales, then in through Cardiff, now to London. So all the capitals of the British Isles. That was great. Meet some great people on those things. Particularly like the lady in Belfast, walking up a quiet street, and suddenly popped right around. When you when you're slightly coming to a party, you know? And so yeah, I did, I went to a party, it was great. There was booze, there was food, there was music. Brilliant. Thanks, Belfast. <laughs> anyway, this, this also relates to the fact that we lived on a farm briefly while we were buying another property. Bloody noisy place there. But there was a, it was on top of the moors and there was a great big uh, harvest moon. Huge it was. So this is called Shine On Your Crazy Moon. I've been rambling and I've been on the road I've been walking I've been walking all alone Shine on you crazy moon Shine on you, crazy moon I've been sleeping I've been sitting still I've been dreaming After walking up that hill Shine on you, crazy moon Shine on you, crazy moon Shine on you, crazy moon Been dreaming Free. I've been dancing, dancing around that tree. Thank you. 
Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, if you want a CD, only fiver, I'll be over there.